and welcome to my channel. Today we're tracking a balloon <coughs> over Poland, just above Warsaw. Um, should be going up quite high into the stratosphere, hopefully, so let's see if we can hear it in Munich, in Germany, where I've got a receiver set up. Um, <coughs> I'll show you the antenna I'm using and the nodes, because they're going to be transmitting on mesh-tastic um, frequencies of 868 and 433 MHz. Here's the uh, antenna. It's a flat panel, 10 dBi, hopefully, but Gill microwave, um, 868 megahertz antenna, mounted on a tripod. And if I just swivel it around, <coughs> you can see on the other side, there's the, the back of the panel antenna. There's the node for 868 megahertz. This is a 433 megahertz node with a um, <coughs> an antenna on it which has got a little bit more gain than uh, some of the short stubby antennas on handhelds. It's a bit longer. It works quite well at 433 megahertz. So that's the setup. <coughs> at the moment it's pointing northeast or so. And what I'm doing is hoping to be able to receive some signals. And uh, on the laptop here, I'll show you screenshots later. But this is um, uh, sondhub.org, the amateur version. As you can see up here in the URL, and it's tracking the balloon now. This is Warsaw in Poland, and the balloon is heading north at the moment. This is the predicted um, path that it might take, depending on the wind that's been predicted. Current altitude is 14,460 meters. Now, somebody who will remain nameless thinks that above about 12,500 should be visible line of sight from Munich in Germany to um, Warsaw. I'm not sure. <laughs> Depends on the curvature of the Earth and of course propagation conditions may not be good and uh, also it's a long way. It's over 800 kilometers away and for 120 milliwatts at 868 megahertz that might be a bit of a long stretch. But anyway this is um, a mobile phone which is monitoring Meshtastic on 868 megahertz. They're actually going to switch from uh, long fast to medium fast modes Round about now, I don't know if you heard the church bell ringing, that was midday. So that's the time, local time, where I need to change the uh, the node to medium fast. So I'm going to do that now and uh, see if we actually notice anything being picked up on this antenna with a mesh-tastic node on the back. Now the balloon is at 16,000 meters above sea level altitude, which uh, should be high enough according to some people's predictions, to uh, get a signal from Warsaw to Munich. There's a, um, uh, it's the same thing, 16,000 meters. Yeah, here's the path using the uh, website. And it's just over 800 kilometers long. It's quite a long way to go for this low power level, but let's see what happens. Um, I've switched to medium fast because from 12 o'clock local time, they're going to be using medium fast and this mobile phone is connected to that node which is pointing at the sky in the northeasterly direction. I've sent test a few times. Occasionally I get a check mark to say it's been received somewhere but I don't know where because if we look in the, uh, the node list, oh okay there's one other node now. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's not the Polish satellite yet. So there's one node. Um, if I actually um, Send. I'm listening on a handheld receiver on 868.525, the mesh-tastic frequency, and it sounds different on medium-fast to long-fast, if you know the sounds. If I just send uh, a word like test into the um, channel, there it was. Very short burst, medium-fast, compared to long-fast. Let me try uh, doing a trace route on this other node. Um, what's trace fruit. So uh, there's one other node now visible using medium fast, which is less common in this area. Of course, everybody's normally on long fast. I haven't got a, a response back yet from my trace route. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, keep watching and see what happens. So now I'm back indoors after a couple of hours out on the rooftop was a little bit cold up there <clears throat> on an escape balcony. <laughs> anyway, um, no signal was received from that balloon, which is hardly surprising because it's a long way 
um, for such a low power level. But it was fun trying and it was fun to set up the equipment and hopefully uh, more people will try these sorts of experiments. And uh, it's always interesting to see what development and progress is being made in mesh tastic and, and other areas as well. So um, I'll put a link below to the um, the YouTube channel of the people who launched the balloon and you can see some videos of them making their launches and some great photos too taken from uh, 30 or so kilometers above the earth maybe higher where you can see the curvature of the planet so that's a bit of fun and uh, let's see what uh, happens next that we can try out using Meshtastic.